we are going to see how we can utilize uh, Wireshark uh, for checkpoint firewalls. I mean, how we can better utilize the Wireshark and the feature available for better checkpoint firewall analysis. Basically, the checkpoint firewall packet analysis. So I'll be walk you through with the steps and the document you want to refer to perform this activity. Let's jump back to the SK. SK number. 39501 SK39510 This is the SK Just go to the Google and search for this SK and you will see these details If you look in the SK You will see the steps how you can basically configure Wireshark to display checkpoint firewall chain in FW monitor packets. So basically we are going to talk about the uh, steps how you can deploy over a Wireshark to see some cool stuff from the checkpoint. So if you know there's something called FW monitor tool in checkpoint the vi visualizing the output or the looking the output of the FW monitor commands will see the name uh, the intercept uh, intercept points like small i big i small o big o this intercepting point will be better you can view using the Wireshark as well. So this is what we're going to see. So let me just brief you about the SK and then we'll perform the lab. So let me scroll down. So this SK is applicable for all the Windows OS as you can see and latestly update on 2009 so it's very old SK and if you see the technical level is basic but it's important to know how to perform these steps so let me clear the screen and go back to the SK again if you see the solution part <coughs> you will be able to see the steps so number one steps will start from here. You have to open a Wireshark and then go to the edit. Then click preferences. Then go to the protocol and then Ethernet. And then the rest of the options. So I'll be showing all those things uh, in a lab as well. Uh, then. Next thing. You can go to the column tab and then you need to add a column and you can give it a name like this. And once that is done, uh, you have to select the number field there and over there you have to select this option. So basically, these are the few steps you need to apply and then you need to uh, look the output in a wire side. So in a quicker manner, I'll just show you the output. If you come here in a wire shot, when you perform the steps, you will be seeing this option, which is like this. I have given name CPFW1. Uh, you can do any name here, but uh, this is how you will see the output and this is what the parameters are you will be going to observe 
okay so i'm performing the labs before that i'll just you know uh, walk you through the options where i have configured all these things so basically you need to come to the uh, edit and from the edit you need to go to the preferences and in preferences you start from the protocols and here you have to search something for ethernet so basically this is the option and here uh, you have to select this file sorry this option which is called attempt to interrupt as a firewall one monitor file and once that is done uh, you have to go back to the topmost option again go to the columns and here you have to select this option and this is what we're going to see in a lab so bit i'll be performing lab now 